Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to show you how to clean a fish tank, especially for the beginners. So this is a beginner's guide to maintaining a fish tank. So let's get going. Now look at this tank. Pitiful, isn't it? The globe blue, so there's no light inside. So we bought a new one today. And well it hasn't been cleaned since before the winter time, which would be May. I think May month. The filter I have in is a very good filter, so I need to wash it every three or four months, which is excellent. As you can see, there's a lot of fish in there. It's a lot of babies. Um, since I got the tank three or four years ago, I've had to buy a lot of fish now and then because, you know, fish die. It's one of those things. But for the first time ever, since about a month ago, I've had three sets of young ones being born so you'll see there's about three different sizes of young ones in there and most of them are mollies so today we're going to do a census we're going to catch all the babies there's a little one there uh, it's a little out of focus sorry we're going to catch all these little bastards and we're going to count them and see how many fish i actually have in because uh, before a month ago i had only like four fish in here maybe five but now it looks more like 30 so we're going to see what's going on and we're going to clean the tank and see if we can rearrange the bottom a bit so let's do that for well the first thing that you're going to need now to start with is a clean bucket i'm going to use this uh, container um, it has never been used for anything else than for my fish so you need something that's clean that had no soap in it whatsoever. You don't want to get any soap close to your fish because that'll die. You, the fish will die, obviously. Um, even if you think it's clean, if it has ever used, if it has ever been used for any chemicals or things like soap, don't use it. Use a clean bucket that you use only dedicated for your fish. Okay, so let's start. Okay, now this that you are seeing here is called a vacuum. It's actually a water vacuum. It's used to clean the sand without having to actually get all the water out of the tank because sand in a tank makes the tank about three times as heavy than it is when it's empty. And of course, picking up the tank with the sand inside is a recipe for disaster, you know. So what we're going to do now, we're going to actually use this to get some of this water from the tank into the bucket. Um, the best thing for this fish now is to stay in the water that they are in now because the water has been treated and they are used to this water. And we're going to put the same water into the bucket. So don't put fresh or clean water in this bucket because it's full of chlorine and it's not been treated. Okay. So let's first do that. Okay, so now that we have about a quarter bucket of water, let's proceed in taking out all these ornaments. All these little ornaments and everywhere where the fish can hide let's remove all of that out of the tank to make sure that they don't have any place to hide okay guys at this point of the tank cleaning process um, it would be ideal to have another big bucket uh, almost like this one down there so that you can put all the sand into another bucket and then flush it and rinse it and clean it unfortunately I do not have one so I'm going to have to rinse and clean the sand inside the tank as it is now. So I'm basically going to add more, a little bit more water, move the stones and sand all around and about, getting all that dirt and filth loose from underground, and then, you know, take the water out, add a little bit of water, take it out about three or four times to make sure that I get most of the shit out of the tank. Okay, guys, another thing that I forgot to tell you. Use a bit of this, uh, like this Scotch Bright or Scotch Guard uh, sponges, and also an old toothbrush, which hasn't been used. It was a new toothbrush when I got it the first time. This was also new before I got it. But you can have a dedicated 
uh, cleaning equipment for your tank. So while we are busy there, I uh, started off by just washing the inside of the glass all around the tank uh, using the same dirty filthy water that's in there because we're going to take it out again. As you can see the water is nice and dirty because I shuffled the stones and the sand around a bit. And you use the, the toothbrush, focus, to get into the corners of the tank. Okay, so once the whole tank is cleaned and washed, we're going to rinse the stones out three or four times. And uh, that should take out most of all the little fish turds that's in there. Okay, I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. As you can see, the water is really not that dirty anymore. It's, you can almost see through it. It's not that bad brown anymore. That means most of the water is clean. So, this is the third rinse. So all I'm doing, I'm just going through the sand like this. All, oops, through the whole entire tank. That's all I did. Just to get all the shit and everything loose and out. And then I'm going to take this water out now. And then I'm going to fill the tank up with new water. Okay guys, so what I've done now is I have added... 80 liters of water back into the tank. I used this 5 liter containers which I um, actually used to get clean filtered water in. So it is a clean bottle. So I just used this one, it's a 5 liter container like I said. So I added 80 liters of water into the tank. So what we're going to do now is we're going to treat that water. We have, let me see, hold on, uh, chemicals like this which is for chlorine. Uh, it's a water conditioner and it neutralizes, it neutralizes the chlorine and it conditions. I also have some medicine that I want to put in that will help the fish uh, fight bacteria and so on. Um, so we're going to put that into the water as well. And while we give it an hour for that to get the water ready for the fish, we're going to start cleaning our ornaments and the plants and the rocks and all that nonsense. We're going to clean that. The first thing that you want to clean though is the filter system. The filter with the pump because that has to go back into the tank before the fish go in because the sooner that pump starts working the sooner the medicine will start flowing through the tank and the idea is to get the water temperature to about 24 25 degrees that is the ideal temperature for freshwater fish um, so uh, while we added water I'm checking the temperature keeping an eye on it and before we put the fish back, we want to have it up to that nice and cozy temperature. Because the biggest thing that can kill fish is shock. If your fish moves too quickly from one uh, temperature of water to another, yeah, it's not good for their systems. So, let's see how it goes. Wow, this filter has really worked. Look how blocked everything is. Look how dirty the sand is. So, what I'm going to do now is take nice clean water and rinse all of this clean and then pack everything back into this filter. I'm using a via aqua internal filter that has a including into it is a pump as well as a heater so it's like a combo system and um, because of this system like I said I only need to clean my tank like once every three to four months so this is a really really good filter system to have. Okay, so the filter is in, I've cleaned all the components, put everything back together and the filter is in and it's on. So now the water can start circulating in the tank. And uh, the water is a bit milky because of all the water, the, the normal tap water that I placed in and all the uh, medicines and chemicals that I've put in to neutralize the water and make it safe and clean for my fish. So we have to give it about an hour or so just to clear up more. But I'll show you once we put the fish in what it looks like. So now while the, the filter is running and filtering the water a bit, we're going to go ahead and clean the rest of the ornaments. And then we're going to place them wherever we feel like decorating a bit. Well guys, this is what the tank looks like. Sorry, the glass is reflecting everything on most of it. So this is now with the blue light on. Um, because you can see the water is still a little bit milky, but it is clearing up. So I'm going to add the fish now. The temperature is exactly where we want it, it's in the green. So I'm going to add the fish now and count them. And then uh, I'm going to give it a few hours 
and then I will show you the um, finished product when the water is nice and clear. But you can already get an idea of what it looks like. Well guys, I'm pleased to announce that my population has grown from 5 to 37. So I've got 37 fish. And just a shame they're all the same type. And they were black. And the sand is black. So catching them was a mission. But it's done. As you can see behind me, the tank is clearing up. The fish are in. Okay guys, so until then, come back next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please remember to comment if you need to ask something. You can write it down in the comments. I won't bite. I'll answer it back. If you like this video, please subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon if you want to get any further videos like this. And have a great life. Cheers.